The following was recorded in front of a live studio audience at the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. This is the United Podcast Network. It's time for a crunch or two. It's time for a little something something. It's time for the Snack Authority. The Snack Authority. The authority on snacks. Snacks of all kinds. From the most common and wildly famous to the most obscure and unknown. The Snack Authority. Snacking all the time so you don't have to. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Snack Authority, broadcasting live from the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe. The Snack Authority is a weekly podcast where we dig into the history, taste, and flavor of local snacks, national favorites, and yes, even some bizarre international treats alone or in head-to-head battles. I am Jess, and with me is my fellow snack patriots, Ed Sullivan. Hello. And our own Mikey Ward. Hello. Hi. So today we are going with three different candies from Boya. We're looking at the clock cups, the mallow cups, and the jimmy sticks. You so gotta love the New England accent. Yeah, it's Boyer. <laughs> just so people know, if they're looking Everybody for it. Everybody listening, no. There's an I. Oh, that's in just it. Boyer. This is Boyer. A H. This is like my second cup of coffee, and I'm hungry. I want to eat some snacks. Maybe that's making it worse. And, you know, for people who don't know about the Boyer company, mm-hmm. they're located in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Altoona. Yeah, you ever been there? No, I've never been there. It was founded way back during the Great Depression by two brothers, Bill and Bob. Altoona or Boyer? Bill, Bill Boyer. and Bob? Bill and Bob Boyer? Altoona probably predates that, although I don't have the incorporation <laughs> It's kind of weird. It's like a Spanish-type name in a Pennsylvania Dutch area. It's, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. I can't explain it. <laughs> But uh, they moved to a manufacturing facility in 1936. They started by making stuff in their kitchen. Oh, the smart, smart boys. And selling it door to door. So 1936 is when they started manufacturing the Mallow Cup. Nice. Classic. In 1969, Boyer was acquired by American Maize Products. Okay. Corn? Corn syrup. Yeah, big maker of corn syrup. All right. And in 1984, they sold it to Anthony Forgione, who was the founder of Consolidated Brands. Mm -hmm. And as you may remember, in September of last year, Boyer bought the clock bar following Necco's bankruptcy. Yep. Yep. And they improved upon it. We'll see. I think there's enough talking and it's time for eating. I vote yes. Yes, so we'll do this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to crack open the clock bar, or clock cup. I keep calling it a clock bar. <laughs> so it's peanut butter cups with the clock crunch in it. It's got a red packaging. All these look like retro packaging, which it makes me happy. Well, and, you know, that's done by design because yeah. the clock cup is brand new relatively because mm-hmm. they didn't make that until after they acquired the Clark brand. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh, you're a little further away today with two on the stage. But, um, you know, it's funny because they bought the Clark bar branding from Boyer. Mm-hmm. And they got a, a recipe, but it was just a list of ingredients. Turn that one down. We're going to so, go whole bars. Look at this. Nice. Look at the whole bars. Now, I just want to, I'm, I'm not saying there's a reason <clears throat> for it. But there are three packages of Mallow Cups, and there are three of us uh, today. No. So there's what I'd like to call no sharing so much fun. Yeah. Two for me, none for you. So Boyer got a list of ingredients, but uh, the specifics on how to cook them up mm-hmm. weren't really included. So they had to experiment, uh, which is why it took a little while for them to reintroduce it. But when they first started making them, yeah, they came out, and this is for the Clark Ooh. Bar, not for the Cups, they came out in the shape of hot dogs, <laughs> which, which according to them, tasted delicious. You know, they got the so recipe right, but <laughs> the extrusion process did not go well for them. And Candy at dogs. that point, they had all these hot dog shaped Clark bar innards. It so sounds delicious, but what they did though, the which was really smart, is they crushed them all up. Right. And introduced the Clark Cup even before the Clark Bar was reintroduced. That's lemons into lemonade. Yeah. Both tasty, but wow. They grind them up and mix them in peanut butter. So it's like a crunchy (laughs) peanut butter cup. I'm excited to try this because when you think of a peanut butter cup, because it does, it has the look of another famous peanut butter cup, but... 
We're going to see. Well, which one should we start with, Jess? I think I'm ready to dig into a Jimmy stick first because I've never had this. These are milk chocolate and peanut butter covered pretzel sticks. Oh, yeah. Sounds with, good to me. But with an interesting little decorative chocolate swirl on them. So it's milk chocolate covered. It looks like a, like a little pretzel rod, um, and it has drizzles on the top. Hey, how many points did you get? I got 30. What? Oh, I'm not reading that. That's my prize at the end of it. I got play money. So this is really nice. It's a little shorter than what you'd think of as a pretzel rod, so I'm kind of excited. They're pretzels covered in peanut butter and then chocolate. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That's a good time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you commented on the vintage look of all mm -hmm. the packaging. Yeah. Believe it or not, these were introduced in 2017. <laughs> they just went with a very vintage package look. I really like it. I think the colors are very reminiscent. It makes me feel like maybe a bit of Americana is stuck in my teeth right now. I like that. Um, pretzels and peanut butter go together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How can chocolate hurt? This is a good balance between salty and sweet. <clears throat> Another chocolate dip pretzel. It's a good time. Mm -hmm. And I do like this chocolate as well. It's mm -hmm. got a creaminess to it. That mm. It's nice. It's sometimes missing from the American chocolates. Yeah. Usually the balance, like though. Apart. The balance of the chocolate plus the peanut butter and a really nicely textured pretzel rod. Mm. Jimmy sticks are, are pretty darn bomb. I mm -hmm. like them. Yeah. They're delicious. Where are we you going awesome. next? To the Clark Cup, you Let's think? go to the Clark Cup. Yeah, we've probably all had mallow cups at some point. Oh, yeah. I, I just, I want, I want those really bad. So we're just going to try the things I haven't tried before. Because so honestly, I, I haven't tried a Jimmy stick or a Clark Cup. Yeah, I told you how the Clark Cup came into existence. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Mashed up hot dogs. <laughs> mm. Well, my first thought is, ratio-wise, I'd like to see a little more peanut butter, but the crunch of the Clark bar is nice. This is a very tasty treat, and I think that the, the if you look at the cup when you're biting it, the top layer of chocolate is slightly thicker, and I like that because you need it to stand up to the crunchy little bits inside. <laughs> this is tasty, but it's one of those things where you expect a texture and you're not getting a texture. I like it. I think it's tasty, but it shocked me a little. You were shocked. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot more chocolate on top. Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, what does it look like? A four to one? Even? Yeah. At least three to one. No, it could be four to one. Somewhere in between there. Yeah. There's a lot more 3. chocolate. 3.7. Again, there's that little bit of salty in there. I like I like the balance. You I see nothing wrong with this. Butter. But when I think of a clock cup, I want, I want a clock bar. Mm -hmm. I just, I do. I'm sorry. Well, they're working on that. I think they are out again. The I trust Clark them. Bar. I trust them. I, I literally could not trust Boyer more right now because I've had two treats and I'm pretty pumped. And again, the quality of the chocolate is mm -hmm. dead smooth. on. It's smooth and rich without being overwhelmingly sickly sweet. This is what chocolate to me should taste like. So should we move to the one that actually has age-appropriate packaging? I'm on it, darling. I'm you on it. You got it. Oh, yeah. So this, I don't know if you guys haven't tried a mallow cup, and I am so sorry for you if you have not, because you should. These are a marshmallow cup that looks like um, the famous peanut butter cups, but they're marshmallow. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I see you got yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's a whipped cream center, so it's a soft center. It's not, it doesn't have the... Oh. The sort of chewiness of a marshmallow. It's a coconut cream, mm -hmm. but I always call it marshmallow cups because it says mallow, marshmallow. But oh. these ones are delicious. They're like a light, fluffy macaroon batter inside a beautiful milk chocolate cup. Now, Jess, you know, many people call it marshmallow, but if you look at the spelling, it's marshmallow. Mm -hmm. And it's also right here. And do you know where that comes from, Marshmallow? I actually don't. I'm going to explain that to you right now, Jess. I'd appreciate that, Ed. So it comes from, originally, marshmallows were made from the sweet sap of the mallow plant oh. that grows in salty marshes near large bodies of water. I dig so, it. So, Marshmallow. That's cute as a button. And doesn't sound very appetizing, though. Well. 
It's delicious. It is. And marshmallow goes all the way back to the ancient Egyptians. They're smart people. No, they were smart people, ancient. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's evolved over time. They're not using mallow anymore oh. <laughs> to make your marshmallow. I'm, I'm just going to level with you. I have this pleasant coconut, like you can feel the coconut flakes in it. God bless the mallow cups. God Sorry. God bless them, huh? It's, it's a problem, and I'm very happy I had two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you're getting coconut. There's no coconut in it. It tastes like coconut to me. Mm-hmm. Coconut. Yeah. No, you're welcome. Right Here's one of those things. Yeah. I, I can sense one part per billion coconut in anything because it, coconut is delicious. You said but you'd like to eat some I'm getting block. little mm -hmm. coconut bits left behind. Remnants, yeah. as it It's like it were. a treasure. It's like, here you go, here's a delicious mallow cup, and then a lingering happiness. I love that, <laughs> lingering happiness. <laughs> so, what do you think? You want to do some snack news while we uh, ponder which of these is our favorite? I would love that. I'm actually excited to hear what you got from today. Well, as you might expect, we got some more Oreo news. Lay it on me, baby. <laughs> well, after two years, Oreo is bringing back their limited edition mystery flavor. Mm -mm. What? Yeah, and they've been pushing it on social media. Should arrive by the end of the summer. Of course, we don't know what it is because it's a mystery. Oh, we're going to have to try it. Now, the last mystery flavor, which was introduced in 2017, turned out to be Fruity Pebbles flavor. <laughs> okay. I don't right. remember hey. seeing that one. Me either. But, mm -mm. So they go kind of... Let's say a little off kilter sometimes with well, the mystery flavors. When I think mystery flavor, I think like airheads. Yeah. Or dum dums. Well, why not fruity pebbles then? Well, because they actually have a mystery flavor in their lineup. You know, the white mm -hmm. one's always the mystery flavor in the airheads, and the dum dum's always the purple one with the question marks a little. Right. Bit. Hey, they want to create their own mystery. They don't want to take somebody else's mystery. Mm -hmm. Keep people guessing. <laughs> <clears throat> I know you, people are going to buy it just to try to figure it out. You need your own mystery in this mm -hmm. world, Mike. <laughs> Another Oreo story, oh, of boy. course. I'm ready for it. In other Oreo news, the limited edition Oreo marshmallow moon cookies started appearing on shelves just this week. You the, stop really? it. Yeah. They're well, making mini moon pies? The cookies come just in time to celebrate the 50th anniversary of NASA's Apollo 11 mission. Oh, different moon. That's exciting. Yeah. You got That's me excited. Exciting. I thought we were going to get mini whoopee cushions or whoopee pies. Well, this limited edition features three fun moon landing designs on the cookie with delicious purple marshmallow cream inside. I'm going to level with you. I'm going to buy all of them. You're into this moon <laughs> thing no, or just the, the marshmallow? Cream. My niece and I will go hunt down the moon in our yard. And believe me, I've been pumping her full of treats because I don't have to watch her. This is going to be a great bonding experience. Favorite aunt. Well... Then this makes it more exciting for you, Jess. You stop. The cookies come in glow-in-the-dark packaging. Sorry. With, <laughs> with different anniversary sticker sets on the pack. I think they have three different sets of stickers. That's cool, mm -hmm. man. So, It'll be all over your house. This is cool. When held under a flashlight, the pack's marshmallow lettering and the M and N in moon glow in the dark. Hmm. And the inscription, Moon Landing 50th Anniversary, is also printed in phosphorescent ink. I, I actually really enjoy that word. I'm very excited about these. I can tell. I'm an adult, but I am very, very excited for these Moon Landing Oreos. Hmm. All right, and that's what we've got for news this week. Excellent round of news. Oh, yeah. Mm. Thank you to You're you and to welcome. Oreo. I do think we get to try those mystery Oreos, though. I think we will. Maybe we can unravel the mystery it's for intriguing. our listeners. Or we can do Snack Authority in the dock and just have the package floating. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that what? would be fun. Yeah, nobody could see the, the decimation of the Oreos. Although, all my light controls are behind the stage. We'll work on it. I have we'll a work on the technical details. <laughs> it sounds exciting. I've got a thing I use at uh, my house on Christmas. You plug it in the wall, you plug something into it, and you hit a remote, and it shuts it off. Or maybe we can use the clapper. <laughs> Clap on, clap off. <laughs> <laughs> do you make that thing anymore? That's a huge problem. I don't know. I bet they do. So I am. Please don't make me choose a favorite. Well, mm. we're going to have to. That's why right. we're here. All right. These are, these are really tasty, and there's reasons that everybody should try these, because, like I said, I hadn't tried the Claw Cup or the Jimmy Sticks before. Worth it. 
<clears throat> so. In modern society, doesn't Jimmy Stick have a different intonation? Not to my knowledge. Okay. I think of sprinkles. Like, I, for whatever reason, thought there was going to be chocolate jimmies on this. Mm. That's what I was thinking. Too. That's a very New England usage. Otherwise, it's chocolate sprinkles. Oh. So the company's really Pennsylvania-based. Mm-hmm. All right. This is, like, the toughest. This is the toughest decision of my day right now. <laughs> Not making it easy on me, boya. Boy, just curious what we get for these points. Free candy? Clark? I don't know. Maybe you can report back on that. Maybe you get free candy. I'm going to get a prize catalog. I'll have to look that up. So you so, 60 points right now. Hmm. <laughs> you know what is kind of interesting? And this is going to be a weird just thing to <laughs> notice. I can't tell if the color, you know how when you're making packaging, because I'm assuming they do their packaging to be similar, the Jimmy Sticks color and the Mallow Cup color are two different yellows. Yes, they are. Well done. <laughs> yep. You made me look at it an extra second before. The Mallow Cup seems a brighter yellow. Mm-hmm. Mm. And it's a different sheen on the packaging. Still a good time. Jumping Jimmy. There's a little guy on the Jimmy Sticks. And he says, Jumping Jimmy? Yeah, his, his name is on his, um, his shirt. I like it. Nice. It's got a little cow lick and everything. <laughs> so I have I have my list of favorites. I don't know if anybody else is ready. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. So third place for me is the Clark Cup. I love it, but I love the Clark Bar, and I keep expecting it to be mm. a Clark Bar. Second place for me are the Jimmy Sticks, because I love that salty plus sweet plus creamy peanut butter. And number one has to be the Mallow Cup. I mean, coconut. Come on, man. I figured that. <laughs> it's it's <clears throat> perfection. So. And I, I will say I'm completely aligned with you. Look at you. Which causes me some concern because usually you're the one that's not in alignment. <laughs> but I can live with it, Jess. And unfortunately, it looks like I'm the monkey wrench this week because I actually like the Jimmy Stick the most. Mm-hmm. Followed by the Mallow Cup and the Clark Bar was disappointing because I would have wanted more Clark in it. Well, they only have so many hot dog shaped Clark yeah, Bars smash to up deal up. with. Well, they could know? extend the peanut butter a little. <laughs> yeah. So, are you a pretzel guy by nature? Or? Yeah, I like good pretzels. Yeah. It's one thing I bought when I went down to Hershey. I had to stop and get Pennsylvania Dutch sourdough pretzels. All right, then. So, you have a pretzel bias. Yes. All right, Jess. So, I'm feeling pretty good about it. Mallow Cup, Mallow Cup's going to be the winner. Yeah. I, I mean, it's a classic treat. It's It tastes exactly like what you want it to. Mm-hmm. And I want to say... Anybody with 4th of July plans or summer plans or Memorial Day, any any, any kind of day. holiday that you might happen to see at the <clears> beach, <throat> the Mallow Cup looks like the ocean on the top. So really, you're kind of just going with a theme for your next party. You know, call me lazy, but I think it would be great press between a couple of uh, graham crackers and make a s'more out of the thing. You stop. Ooh. When we're off camera, please come down and visit us. We would love that. So if you guys ever have an idea for a snack we should dig into, an idea of what to pair against each other, please let us know. Contact us at thesnackauthority at gmail.com. Let your snack eating friends know about us. Share us. Subscribe to us. Give us a five-star rating. We like those. This is the Snack Authority for Ed, Mikey, and myself. Have a wonderful snacking day and a whole snack and summer. The views and opinions expressed by the hosts, guests, or callers of this program do not necessarily reflect the opinions of the Studio 21 Podcast Cafe, the United Podcast Network, its partners or affiliates.